DMX, you know what I'm saying? We had Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons, DMX, however you felt about him, you know what I'm saying? However you took it in, you know what I mean? Um, I just been crying and listening to his music, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just celebrating his shit. I watched that whole run they, they did on BET, celebrating him. Oh, yeah. They did the Rough Riders comic yes, book shit. The, the, day that had, the day that it was announced. No, still Yesterday, that. two days ago. The whole Rough Riders Chronicle shit. They was just giving um, 106 and Park episodes when he was coming up and shit, talking and shit, interviewing and shit like that. So that shit just took me back to Madison. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh yeah, here we go. Oh, that shit, bro. Yeah, I'm sad, I'm but at the so. same time, for everybody that knew who he was. Everybody spoke to him. Yeah. But he told you. He's seeing who he wanted to see. He going to meet who he wanted to meet. Yeah. And he, he finally, you know what I mean? He like, just heard on Drink Champs. And it's crazy. A lot of people are sharing that clip now. But it's like, I watch Drink Champs. So it's like. Four, four episodes with him? Yeah, okay. yeah. So I watched that when he was like, you know, if I was to drop that today. And they're like, whoa, hey, yo. Oh, and he's like, nah, I'm just saying. I had a good life. I had a good life. Regardless of all the ills and all the bad that was going on, he smiled and he prayed through everything. You know what I'm saying? He did everything he wanted to do his way. But you know, you just start watching old shit. People just start putting shit up. And then you remember, like, oh, I, I was watching this interview with Gabrielle Union on Hot Wings. And she tells the story when she was on the set with him. And yeah. he was watching Golden Girls with her. And she, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So then you start seeing that side too. But That's what I, I, I watch. Um... Is that that's not actor name? Then what? Chadwick. Me? Come on, son. <laughs> I liked it because I was young at the time <laughs> and I was an L <laughs> L fan. But when I look at it now, I'm like, that album was trash. Like, yo. Me and today was like, hey. <laughs> Diluted the shit in the beginning, bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, cause bro. even when we was junior high school, he had um. This is for my nun. Yeah, he should stop right there. Then he did the J Lo shit. Oh, what's the J Lo shit? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up, hold up. I got it in my. I got it at the tip of my tongue right now. Oh, big in the. Big in the snow and shit. Oh, that was my shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he oh, was fake shit. singing on that shit. How that shit work? Uh, I hear the beat and all that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh, yeah. Times what you had, baby girl. I'm what you had. <laughs> you don't need me to do that. Beat is young when you isn't when you mad. Don't make decisions when you're mad. Don't make decisions when you're mad. Don't make decisions when you're mad. Because this is a mega star. This isn't just he was uh, supposed a to be the, They was trying to make him the next action star in movies. Yeah, he's, he's yeah, he was the black action star. Remember what DMX was doing in the movies, bro? Before Jelly, bro. Awesome. Even Seagal. Yeah. And looked at him like, boy, what are you doing? I um I love DMX movies. Um, my favorite one is not Belly. Everybody would say Belly. My favorite DMX movie is Never Die Alone. Uh, I just liked his performance in that movie. I'm it's not. either it might it might be uh, Cradle to the Grave. Cradle to the Grave. Because I remember going to the movies and watching that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That that was that's what we did. You know what I'm saying? So I remember going. I remember who I took to the movies to see that. Favorite DMX track. I was going to say that. I was going to say, we can't act what's your favorite there track. There we go. But let's, talk. let's celebrate it. What's your favorite X track? Again, Slippin' is in his own lane. Slippin' is God's here. Yeah, That's so the reason why I cried. And I couldn't stop crying. It's time. the first song that came on when I pressed shuffle on his shit. It's the first song that popped on and I was like, oh, here we go. Um, Rough Riders Anthem. That shit just caught me, the beat. You remember that time, bro? Yeah, the remember beat. Remember when Rough Riders used to come through and they used to be scared? I just remember all that shit because of how um almost the world didn't feel so artificial. 
Like every corner didn't have a condo on it. You know what I'm saying? Right like camera. Yeah, we had a lot, a big ass lot on the corner that we dad played in, and at the end of the week, three of us got wing worms and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and the music. Because I hate saying that these kids don't have a moment when music dropping. They like, oh, I remember this moment. They don't. This, I, I, I mean, I don't know, bro. They don't. I don't know, because we too, did. Listen, it's too much coming out at one time. But it if you're a music been, fan like, and you love somebody, then you hold on to that, I guess. Like people, I think there's some kids right now. How long Drake been out? 10, 11 years? I think there's some kids that was like... 13 or whatever in that age range that's in their 20s now that probably got a feeling of when of an album that came out or so, a song or something. I don't know, right? But for us, I always I always could trace a certain song to a certain day or a certain feeling or a certain time like when we was going to the party and we all had our jerseys on. You know what I'm saying? I remember hearing fucking, um, it was a Fab song. I think it was Fab and Neo. I think it was You Make Me Better or some shit like that. I just remember that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it was on a block party or some shit. But, um, DMX, Rough Out of Xanthem, probably, probably for me, it was Rough Out of Xanthem. Um, my favorite X song is he has, first of all, he has too many bangers. Like, it's, it's really endless. Right? We saw that in the verses. <laughs> and this is why. I feel so great, not that he's passed away, but that when that was booked, I was one of the few New York niggas like, yo, what are y'all niggas talking about? Oh. X is about to bug out. No, well, another song there. that's up there for me is um, Damien. I love Damien. No, it's not. I'm like, yo, boy, y'all niggas tripping. X got anthems. <laughs> so, and it shows. Oh, the show, right? Get so, at me, um, dog. Get at me, dog. Uh, stop being greedy. Stop being greedy. Um, money I can remember a, a quick story. I can't remember what Hot 97 was calling it, but I know Angie used to do it. I'm not sh sure if it was Battle of the Beats or Battle of the Songs or something like that, but they used to do it. I think it was Battle of the Beats. Battle of the Beats, right? When they used to play, like, songs of artists that were, like, kind of on the come up or something and playing against each other. Mm hmm and I remember when Stop Being Greedy was kicking everybody ass. It was on for like a whole month. Like a whole shit. month. Remember that? Yeah. Like they was playing it against mad niggas tracks and people we people had to call in and vote. Yeah. It wasn't up to the to Angie and them and DJ enough. They just played the track. And stop every time Stop Being That was the only time it played mm -hmm. was rattling right the beats, bro. And when that shit came all the time, you could not deny that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but my favorite song from him is How's It Going Down? Yo. Yo, yo, boo, we live. You live on the Don Cody DVD, we gave you, y'all. We had to answer because it's only you. Don't say nothing to incriminate Don't yourself. Don't say nothing <laughs> to incriminate yourself. You heard? Shut up, man. Shut up, man. Shout out to all the bros, man. You know that. They go, you know what I mean? Stay focused, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Guys, since I was a little pup, mm -hmm. you know, the, the guy actually told me how to play football. First, right? That's yeah. a fact. That's a fact. Cole used to think Cole, Cole used to think he was Randy Marsh. You couldn't tell that. <laughs> tell him again, man. Tell him again, boo. I mean, I, you know, I humbly, I humbly throw the shot, but you know, niggas know. You know I caught that. I ain't gonna lie. You could have went somewhere. I could have went somewhere, bro. Yo, pup. Yo, I tell that nigga that shit every. I tell that nigga that shit every day, sir. That nigga would have been retiring from the league right now. I, I'd have damn been retiring doing the podcast right now, smoking Nachi, like I'm doing Nachi, right now. Nachi, Nachi, Nachi probably would have been a fake ass. Um, what's up, son? Name was um, wrong, wrong. Maverick Carter. Maverick Carter. Oh, yeah, that's a fact. You know that. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Niggas yeah, would have had Ralph Abbott you know, Mansion. Yo, 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 like yo. the only person I compare him to is Tupac. Yeah, that's, that's it. The Tupac of ever. That's it. Like he's in his own tier because he's lyrical, he's emotional, he gives you a song for everything. He's passionate, and everything he's just is. real. Yeah, you see him at his down. You see him at his best. You see him with his kids good. You see him with his kids bad. You know what I'm saying? It's just different shit like that that you see. So it's like. Um, I don't think it dies down, because for me, 
Not does, I don't mean dial down, but to the point where it's, For like, us, it's we heard the music. Yeah, we music. was listening to the music, and sometimes when it when it came across for me, real, real like came across like it crossed like when I saw when I heard his song, his music all over um down to earth, Chris Rock. His music is always in movies, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think even now, yeah, even in cartoon movies, it, if it's party up or something, yeah, the kids know his voice. Because yeah. I was like we saying how passionate he was, how how much his voice just grabbed you, you know what I'm saying? It was just his voice. And then his even, lyrics. Even when like, he did voodoo right on the radio. I don't think it's I mean listen man. Listen man, relax. I don't want people to be like, listen, Oh, you listen, you disrespect your women. I'm not disrespecting women, man. Relax. I just think this is outlandish. I think it's outlandish. <laughs> like the number is outrageous. But <laughs> Listen, the shit I'm hearing, right, and the shit I'm hearing from the prior the ones that's taking a stand, it's a little crazy. Son, man. Shorty said, <laughs> listen, Shorty said the nigga humped the air and came. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I respect women up to the utmost. Listen, man. <laughs> They go from the Migos? Yeah. It ain't go nowhere though. They charge they dropped it. Good. No charges, so he good on that. You know what I'm saying? Good. Drop Let's get to it. What you think about it? What? You saw the official trailer? Space Jam? Space Jam? What you thinking? I got mixed feelings. I'm not gonna hold you. Where you wanna start I with? I got it? mixed feelings. You want the good first? You wanna start with the Monsters first? That's the good? You like the Monsters? What is who is that? Let's get it going. I'm show you right here. Who are say you? at the same time. Clay Thompson That's is the a, fire I guy. That. I peeped that real Clay quick. Clay Thompson is the fire guy. Okay, because he on fire. Uh-huh. Then you got Dame Lillard, the robot dude. I was trying to... I'm like, who that with the Come ball? On, okay, they, I got they, you. Yeah. I got you. Game okay. time. Then you got Diana Taurasi is the chick with the spider legs. Oh, they did her dirty. Mm-hmm. They did her dirty. Then you got AD. <laughs> Big dude with the eyebrow. <laughs> That's okay. the monsters right there. I thought I thought Kyrie was there, but I guess not. I don't think so. Mm. I like the monsters. I like how they look. I like the. Of course, we're gonna like the graphics for this time. That's the good. I like the graphics. I think it's dope. I look. I think it looks crazy. Um, I want to see it in theaters, but I'm not. Okay. Um, the bad. I, I say this. I say this. It's giving a better act and feel than Michael. Michael's horrible in Space Jam. Okay. Nobody likes to talk about that because that was their man. But shit. fair to him, he never had a chance to do anything before that. LeBron got a couple fair chances to that. Fair yeah. but, no, nigga, I'm keeping yeah, it no, in the same lane. I'm saying that. Fight. Nigga, you jumped in. You jumped in. You jumped in it. Oh, yeah. I'm a ball player. I'm playing myself. No, nigga. No. I feel you. You played yourself horribly. What? Cool. Whatever. 
it's a nostalgic <laughs> movie. It's a good movie. Yeah. It ain't even because of him. Yeah, the whole movie, the plot and everything. Too. And the people they picked was doodle. Like, what are we talking about? Muggy Vogue, Sean Bradley. What? Grandma Ma. This niggas we running with? Eric Gordy would have did. Who? Eric Gordy. He was his kid, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. E.G.? But yeah, finish your take, bro. He didn't even put his kids in. Come on, bro. Listen. Uh, with the broad, I feel like he should have put his son in it. I don't care who did it, who done it, just like I don't care that Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. I don't fuck that nigga. We here, nigga. Freed the here. slaves. Nigga, that's what he did. That's what he did. That's what's up. Cool, nigga. Cool though. Shout out to you, bro. And I ain't worried you. about you. It's about us. Heard you was black, but who knows? Who knows? <laughs> who, who knows? So how we gonna get into this story? The story we gonna get into the breakup first, or we gonna get into Man, the ass breakup first? To break up, that's all we do. So I just, I just brought it up slightly last episode. Me, but oh, um, Quavo, Quavo and Sweetie. You want to start with their yeah, breakup? Yeah, let's just talk about that real quick. They broke up, whatever, right? And it's a timeline. There's a little timeline now. I like this. Yeah. See, I'm not talking back then into shit too crazy. Just touching on it, pause, and then coming back later. Pause. Yeah. yeah. So they broke up, right? She dumped him. That's why, right? I, it don't matter. Yeah, it don't matter. None of that shit matter. Ray is up for DMX. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to get into that later on in the um, episode. But Ray is up to DMX. Y'all already know me. Probably top 15, top 20 for me. Personal reasons. Core, top. What, 15? I think I'll put him in the top 10, bro. Top 10, that nigga. He might be like 7, 8 for me. Living legend. In, in, <laughs> excuse me. The impact that I lived at. You know what I'm saying? I, I remember the, that DMX time. I was like, I wasn't the age I was for Big, where I was like a kid. I was a teenager. Yeah. Like, shit, he was told me I was trying to get pussy. You know what I'm saying? I was selling weed. And I was experiencing um, different emotions towards my parents. Mm -hmm. And he was hitting every emotion at that He point. hit all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Fighting with with demons of knowing what the streets entail. But and then somebody we looked up to personally was such a fanatic of his uh, yeah. that we had to pay attention embrace to him. Yeah, we had to embrace that music because he, he put it in your face regardless. That's the piece that earth, piece you know what I'm saying? Earth. Well, we talk about that even if you bro. Listen, bro, this... Yeah, man, I'm going <laughs> He looking at the score, bro, like, what's I'm the score? Going, going. What's the score, 24? <laughs> I'm going to get the Oh, my God. 22. Don't I get 22. Oh. Bro, if he did that, bro, I'm, I, oh my God. I'm, and I'm going on record, I'm saying, I don't believe all of this is true. Just is, like I said. This I is a key word, right? It's, I don't think all of them. Um, I'm getting to another. There you go. Naughty man. Niggas is nasty. <laughs> nasty man. You know I got that from, right? You know where that's from. Yeah. Say it and then go. Bro. Nasty man. Half bait, bro. Oh, okay, okay. Nasty mate. <laughs> this is nasty, man, bro. You out here mad horny, bro. Who is it? Who two, is it this time? Two peas. Four peas? <laughs> the truth, roof? Breaking news. My boy got fired from ESPN, you know what I'm saying? He got canned. Got up out of here. Y'all should know by now, by the time we put this up. Y'all know what happened. Captain. My son rolled a couple up. You know what I'm saying? Got some massages. Called the homies. He was like, yo, come through. Pull know? up. Poker tonight. Put your money up. Y'all know how I, y'all know I take your money up. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Let me get a cut. My stupid yeah. ass flat top. Hold my ball. You know, I still got it. <laughs> this shit dumb, man. Why you get that cut? You know what I mean? But okay. Roll the couple and we chill. You know what I mean? We in LA. It's legal. He might have been fired already, bro. You know what I'm saying? Then. My boy brought the strippers through. <sighs> you know what I mean? Then he went on live and it's like, oh shit. 
you know you work for Disney, right? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what everybody's thoughts is first. That's of all, the first thing. We all know, know who owns ESPN. Not everybody. ESPN. You know what I mean? So, you know, who knows? But I know black love, so you with somebody for a while, especially her. I don't know why she's nice, she, she nice, but she be talking crazy sometimes. Like, that's what anyone wants. She puts I mean, she put ketchup on her pasta. I'm she sorry. puts what? She put ketchup on her pasta like that. Oh no, she for the streets. <laughs> if you out there putting ketchup on your spaghetti or lasagna <laughs> spaghetti or, or, or any, any of that, you for the streets. I don't care what you say or what your mama then told you. She was for the streets too. <laughs> and more than likely, your grandmama is still in the streets. And you need to fucking watch the fuck. <laughs> Uh, they said in the beach, she ain't throw them 10 G's to get a Bro, three. Bro, and what ketchup are you using? I guarantee you it ain't Hans. 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 Ugh. Hans is that really shit strong. Dog. That Burgundy. Shit, that shit tastes like that white potato, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it tastes like pizza sauce. <laughs> that shit for barbecue food, nigga. That shit is not for nothing in the crib. <laughs> you don't put that shit on french fries. <laughs> so you, you out of line. One, and he out Queens. 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 LL. <laughs> you better shut up. Nigga better stop playing, my boy, man. He ain't no forefather of pop rap. My son came out, I put the fuck back in everything. He came out hard first. Oh. <laughs> um, he you made. Know? Yeah. When was I need love? That's the thing. But when was that? When is it? I don't know. Was it there? I think that's third album. What year is it? Don't matter. It's his it third album. It does matter. No, it's his third album. His first two albums, he was killing niggas. Niggas was trying to play my... Who you trying to take my no. photo with my swag? Who you talking to, old man? With the, no, with the raccoon was, shades uh, on. He was doing that. <laughs> he was doing that when all the hippity hoppity shit was going on. Yeah, so he didn't come out as a pop rapper. But that wasn't pop neither. That was hip hop. That that hip hop and shit. That shit was hip hop. That shit wasn't. And he came out killing niggas. Yeah, and then he. And then he dropped. I need love. I don't know. But even before that, he had. He had. I need a runaway girl. I right, I kind of forgot what to say. I need a run. I need a runaway girl. Sitting in that bus stop. Sitting on body pop. Ooh, that's too hard though. Pop rapper. Right? He he top. What is he? Twenty five. Oh, for me? Uh, yeah. Nah, you ain't gonna have me this thirty. I'm asking you. For me, he's in my top probably fifteen. Fifteen? Yes. <laughs> you put him in your ten. Uh. All right. So then he's in your eleven to fifteen range. Oh no. No, he's in your twenty to twenty five range. <laughs> oh shit, twenty five to thirty. <laughs> Nigga, twenty eight. Might be like twenty nine for me, bro. Because they be broke. Then, then somebody coined it. Usher bucks. He's throwing usher bucks. So we like, all right. <laughs> but then when I heard the whole story, I'm like, oh, he is a promotional thing, that's, and that's cool. That's dope. Yeah, that's that's cool. No, that's dope. Because now everybody with in there. the whole Vegas. Now you got all the like we said, all the other celebrities. That's where he was at. Atlanta. I believe it was in Atlanta, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because that's even better because now you're in another state. Another state when, you come to, when you come to Vegas, you know where it's at. Yeah. Right, 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 right. You might have, ooh, that's dope. So I ain't knocking him for it. I wasn't knocking him from the jump. Niggas was like, nah, I was like, it's foul. But if you could get it off, then hey, because niggas is not going to act crazy. First time we went to the strip club, we lost our fucking mind. Yeah. I spent all my savings. You know we saying? lost our mind. Yeah, Niggas came in that private dance, little Chinese. Niggas moment. said, you. <laughs> I was <look> mad. <laughs> Niggas is in there like, you want a drink? No. Mm -mm. Well, this has my, always been here? I got some weed in my pocket. I'm good. Come on back. Nigga came out and like, yo. Turn me off back there. I think it's like, what? Yo. <laughs> you, you, no, you. Come back. Jeans is dry. You stiff. 